Hi, my name is Ingo Quasdorf, and we're at the Hershey Center in Mississauga today taking an inside look at FIRST Robotics, a robotic competition for all high schools around the world. All right, I'm standing here with Mark Bredner. He is the executive director of FIRST Mark. Robotics. Yep. Mark, this place is crazy, like with all the teams and all the people that are here. Well, it's a competition where the kids get to learn about science, math, technology, but it's in a very fun, competitive way. Last weekend, Runnymede, 13-10 in Waterloo, they won their semifinals. They came in second place, and now they're heading to St. Louis, and they're going to the Worlds to compete for the championships. This is Bill Paulden. He's one of the co-captains of the team, and I'm going to let him explain what FIRST Robotics actually is. So FIRST Robotics is a student uh, initiative to get more technology, science and math into high schools. All the mentors and coaches and teachers are all volunteering their time to help us build a robot. We really encourage mentors from outside the schools to come in and help the kids as well. We never have a problem getting the kids involved. The kids love this program. This is our robot. We call it Versatility obviously because it's very versatile. Um, the game this year, it's called Ultimate Ascent, and you have to play Frisbee, basically, and you have to climb a pyramid with your robot. So our robot can pick up Frisbees, and it can be hand-fed with Frisbees, and it can hang as well. We were recognized for our ability to do the long shot, and that's one of the reasons why we won. All right, Robert, so we just watched this last match, and 1310 looked like it had a couple of issues. What's going on? Well, what was happening with our robot was is our pickup wasn't working 100%. It seemed to have jammed on the field. Also, when we were doing our long shot, we were having problems getting it calibrated correctly for where we're trying to hit, which is the top goal, which is worth three points. Our robot just had a few bugs in the programming, so we're just having our programming team go over it again, and we're gonna do the same thing that we did in Waterloo, and we're gonna come and win this. I'm part of the build team and that basically I'm spending most of my time in the robotics room helping with the construction of the robot. So we usually start in about November to train all the grade nines and upcoming students into the robotics team. From about November to January we're doing our training and then on January 5th the game gets released. After the game is released at the Science Center, a group of us just get together, maybe about 25, 30 of us just get together in a room and just talk strategy, like what do we need to get done? What's the best things to put together on the robot? What they do in six weeks is amazing. I mean, they take a kit of parts and they build robots like we see behind us here. In six weeks, they all look different. They all have the same set of rules, but they all are able to come up with a moving robot that can play a game. During the week, we spend from 3 o'clock till 9 o'clock from Monday to Friday, and then we also come in on Saturdays. Even sometimes we might come in on a Sunday. We have corporate sponsors for the event. Each team is encouraged to go out in their community and get sponsors as well. It's really good for the kids to get the experience in going out in their community and raising funds for their team as well. <laughs> So this is one of the teams here at FIRST Robotics, they're called 1334. They were just out on the field and what makes these guys really stand out from the rest is they have a grappling robot which can actually climb to the top of the pyramid. We have about six weeks to build uh, and design our robot. Uh, so at the start of the six weeks we're given our challenge and this year we had to both shoot frisbees and climb a pyramid and we chose to do both. Our climber here works by grappling the sets of rungs that are on the pyramid and both sets of hooks actually move. So you have a top set of hooks and a bottom set of hooks, and as they move, they articulate so that they can grab and hold onto the pyramid as it climbs. And you can actually see that, you know, the hooks actually flip back and, and there's springs and everything to allow it to move. Uh, and once we get it all set and done, all set up, it climbs in about, you know, 15 seconds.
Everyone leaves here a winner. Whether your robot comes in first or last, it doesn't matter. It's the experience that you get. It's the fun that you have when you're doing it. So there you have it, folks, an inside look at FIRST Robotics. If you're not involved, get involved. Find out how you can do it. Get it into your schools. It's a great educational tool. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.